such humility. That is indeed a shining example of a young man with a big vision. Pardon the Lord. You know, even if I live a hundred years, it's not enough. It's not enough. But like Paul in the Bible, I now know I got a lot to do for God. There you go again. I told you there was nothing to atone for. The good Lord has taken care of everything. Pound the Lord, you better tell that in my head. I guess that the only bad thing I are dealing with, my weakness, my hair. I gotta deal with it. I guess you're right when you talk about the weakness, you know? Um, I've told you to put behind you that solid affair. We invited you here for a more pleasant discussion. Pastor James, can you please give him the good news? With much pleasure, Emmanuel. Pastor Henry, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The church has decided to fund the sum total of your wedding, plus your honeymoon. Oh! Your swag, brah. Now be seen. Mama, now be. Oh, God in heaven. I now know you're my only father. I now know you are the God who provides for his own. Pan the Lord. I thank you. I thank you, Pan the Lord. The elders took that decision as a way of encouraging the young man. Am I being the closest relative of the bride? It is my duty. I'm so happy I can't even, I, I mean, I ain't know how to tell Susan the good news. I'm so happy. Pardon the Lord. To just leave the young man alone. Isn't it obvious that he's not meant for you? <laughs> Yet you went ahead and got pregnant for him. I've left him. He was the one that called me. Yes, like he did two months ago. <laughs> and you went, came back crying that you met a woman in his house and he beat you up. <laughs> I have told you, Sister Tina, let me deal with him once and for all. But you won't let me. 
promise What is it with you and this marriage? Hmm? I don't get it. It's not as if you're that old. Why are you so desperate? It's easy for you to say. Yeah, you're a crusader, championing women's crusade. You have everything at your back and call. You have Pastor Henry. He's a wise upright man. He has he's God fearing. What do I have? I'm not getting any younger. Okay? Or do you want me to be old like my sister before if I get married? I've told you about my family. Like, uh, don't don't start with that generational costing. How many times will I tell you that we are prayed about it? Why can't you believe that it has been killed? Well, let me tell you, luck has nothing to do with it. If Henry, if I saw Henry ever tries to touch me, I will make sure that he regrets it. I don't let love blind me. <laughs> I know he said love is blind. But in your case, Sister Tina, it is not only blind. It is handicapped. It is deaf and dumb. So what do I do? What do I do? Look at me. I'm comfortable. I'm well educated. Why can't I get married? What? Is that enough reason for you to continue this abusive and sinful relationship you have going on with Brother Tim? He claims he's a pastor. And yet you have had two abortions for him. And now you're pregnant again. And all this for what? For love. Susan, I love him. No, 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 Sister Tina. Love does not ask you to mother. It doesn't hurt. It is obvious that a young man is in trouble. That that <laughs> who made him a pastor? Which church was he ordained a pastor? Isn't it obvious that Brother Tim has issues, that he has problems, and that Papa needs to know about all these challenges no, that he's no, facing? No, no, please, please don't tell him. Please, please, you must stop. <laughs> don't tell him, please. Even if you do, just don't say I told you. Come on, you know he's still on probation. This is what I don't get, Tina. How many times have I told you to allow me to deal with him? He has to be exposed for the fraud that he is. He has no business <laughs> parading himself as a pastor. Please. I trust you that's what I'm confiding in you. Please. I really don't know. But you have my word that I will not say anything to Papa for as long as you leave him alone. Okay. I'll leave him, but don't tell anyone. Please. Let me see if I understand what you just said. He lives in a house which you pay rent for. And he goes out, gets drunk, returns and battles you. And yesterday he returned, of course, drunk again, with a girl and asked that you vacate the room for them. And when you refused, he beat you up. Yes, he, he always beat me, beat me up. Jesus Christ. What took you this long? In this 21st century, things like this are no longer tolerated. I didn't know. Well, thank God you know now. So, what do you want done? Because the way I see it, you have two options. One, you can sue him for battery and claim damages. Or you can ask the court to put a restraining order he will not be able to come anywhere within a hundred meter from where you are without risking going to prison. I don't, I don't understand what you just said now. Um, okay, let me see if I can put it in plain language. You can sue him for damages and he will pay you money. And you ask the court not to allow him come a hundred meters from where you are. Because if he does that, he will go to prison. He doesn't have money. He was fired because of his drinking habit. He blames me for that too. I just want him to leave me and my child. Mm, okay. 
will file for custody of the child. Okay? But we will still... We will still... Hello? Stop crying. We will still ask the court to put a restraining order against him so that he will never come anywhere near you in future. So, what we are going to do right now? Just stop crying, okay? We will help you out. We will help hey, you out. How much will it cost? I don't have much money. This is an NGO. It's a non-profit. We are not asking you to pay, okay? What we need from you is your particulars and some background check, <coughs> background information on this man. And we will take it from there. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank okay. you. So we'll start with you giving me your background information. I shall move my no robot! <laughs> I will move mountains. I will liberate the dead. I will liberate Hallelujah. Come. I thought you said you were going to stay with your mother. You are not going to come back here again. I didn't come to see you. So what did you come to do? What did you come to do? Because I know you would have gone to the public to ask your precious sister Susan. Your angelic sister Susan. But let me tell you something. You are missing out. Because you, the man you are seeing here is not a nobody. Yes, because you think I'm a sinner. The man you are seeing here is not a nobody. It's somebody with a calling. A man caught out for great things. And I tell you, you'll be there to see it happen. I only came to pick a few of my things in the house. Uh, come, 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 come. Another word of prophecy. Please, go back in there. Pack your things, including the pins and needles you have in this house. Pack everything out of this house in Jesus' name. In that case, you have to move out. Because I paid the rent, and everything in this flat is mine, including your pin. Hmm. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Tina insult me. Tina insult me. Insult me because you see me here today. But let me tell you something. This is a man God has called. This is a man God is going to use for great things. And I tell you. When I begin to move mountains, you will see my church. Tina, you will see my congregation. You will watch me on satellite. You will see God moving. I've never doubted you for once. If only you would repent and start walking in earnest. Yes. Meanwhile, congratulations in advance. Mr. Big Church, Big Satellite, Big Congregation. I only came here to pick my things so that I can go and stay with my mom for her to look after me and the baby. It's, it's not like I, I have not been able to, or I'm not capable of taking care of you and the baby. Just that things have just been a little bit rough. I see it that God is planning a great thing in my life. And when God begins to do things, I know God will provide all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And I know that God will not let me down. But pertaining to this child, I know that is the leading of the Holy Spirit that your mother should take care of you and the child for now. It's... Um, I trust God it's going to be well with me and do you have 1,000 Naira there? I need to use it urgently. I want to make an international call and... Hi. Tim. The big church. I don't have 1,000 naira. I have 500. Tina, check well. But you're a Christian. You don't need to lie. Check well. I only have 500 naira. I need it.
Umunae me, a man of God, a man who carries God unction and anointing, a man who people are looking for to bless. I'm so exceeding in my life. I'm asking her for one thousand naira instead of her to rush and give it to me so that God will bless her. She's giving me five hundred naira. Your blessing has been cut into two half. Five hundred naira blessing. That's what God will give you. So what can this one buy? Buy 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 credit for somebody. <sighs> Sweetheart, my love, guess what? What? I'm telling you, we got the most expensive honeymoon anywhere in the world, all paid for. <laughs> that goes to tell you that the good lords. Takes care of his own. You can say that again, mommy. What you want us go for the honeymoon, mommy? Mm. London will be nice. London. And you know Sandra has been asking that I visit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Sandra. By the way, let me ask you something. Is Sandra coming with us for the wedding? Well, she would have been here by now, but... Uh, shadow is too tight, so since the wedding is second week of next month, oh, yeah. she will be here with my ah. wedding dress oh, yeah. and her chief dressmaker dress. Mommy, yes. you swag bra, I'm blessed. I know. I'm blessed, mommy. I'm favored, mommy. I got God's grace in me, mommy. <laughs> ah, by the way, how much you say the cake and uh, decoration is? Oh. I was actually with Sister Tina yesterday, but we, we didn't talk about it. So it has, she was so disturbed. They still fighting? Ah. What happening now, this time? Well, Brother Tim says um, she's not the one for him. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> God is good. I know. Mommy? I say, I give thanks for his wonderfulness. The Lord will say, in everything, we got to give God thanks. I mean, I give thanks for Sister Tina and brought him. I give thanks. But, but sweetheart, you know, she promised to leave him. But I've been hearing that. I have heard that several times. Mommy, can we talk about my sweetheart? How you day be? Oh. You alright? You see, this woman came in today. She's not even a woman. So that she's barely 17. You needed to see how bad that she was. You see, the man that impregnated her, who is staying in a house that she is paying rent for, She's, she's not even asking for any sort of support from him. He had the effrontery to bring in another woman and ask that she vacate the room for them. Yes, what, My sentiment exactly. So, we decided to take up our case. I mean, that devil work this. That real devil work. But my law, the law books say, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the good law delivered them from all. Amen. And he will be delivered. By the time this goes to court, he will be delivered of his foolishness. My Lord, I now know something. I now know we are God's own thing. <laughs> Mommy, I now know why God make this up. A pastor went a social crusader. <laughs> Mommy, I give God thanks. I give God my, my praises. Mommy, I give God, I uplift the name of the Almighty God because, Mommy, you are a gift, Mommy. I bless the day I find you, my Lord. I bless the day I find you, my sweetheart. I love you, Mommy. And you know what, my Lord? You look sweet and beautiful. <laughs>
Afflictions of the righteous. My Lord, you are my strong tower. I run it into you, my Lord, and now I'll be delivered. My Lord, I'll now be bought for a price. My Lord, I come to your presence now for safety, for security, Lord. You are my strength, you are my refuge. Oh my God, help me. Deliver me from my past. Oh my God, I beg you. Come and take absolute control over my life. Get my past away from me. You see, anyone that is born in Jesus Christ is a new creature. All things are passed away, my God. I believe in your word, my God. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Amen. So, it's because most of us do not do eye service in church, nobody notices us. Nobody can even appreciate the so much we have put. Hey, that's it now. Because we do not do any service. But oh, watch and see. Oh, watch and see. Watch and see what the Lord will do. Because I am a man of great vision, a man that God has called out for a purpose, and God is going to use me to do my things. Amen. Amen. And we have one of the biggest congregations in town. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Don't worry. But you know something, Brother Tim? I still feel within me that Pastor Harry is it's moving mountain for God. Mm. I still have this conviction within me. Is it Pastor Henry to move mountains? I mean, what am I moving? I'm moving rivers. Is that the problem? He has used his hypocrisy and his corner corner habits to get people like you. Yes! Pastor Henry is a hypocrite and that is what he is. We know, I know, if you do not know, I know why he's doing all this. He's doing this so that he can win Sister Susan's hands. Yes. He is doing it to win Sister Susan Sad. Knowing fully whether she's Papa's niece, of course, when Papa is not there, he will take over. Yes. And secondly, is her money. He's running after her money. Then, most of all, that guy has what they call Ochukokuru. Is her money he's looking for? But let me tell you something. Mark my words. Pastor Henry is conversing for favor amongst men, and I tell you that he is going to fall. I tell you, man of God, man of God, the very man I wanted to see. Now, man of God, me, 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 I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I, I have this feeling that you did not take the leading from the Holy Spirit. Because I was wondering, I mean, I thought I was supposed to be your best man. Uh, yeah, my man. The thing my man is, I had chosen Pastor Francis. I'm sorry, my man. I'm really sorry from the bottom of my heart, my man. Well, it's okay. At least um, by his grace, I can be one of your groomsmen. I mean, I felt that ordinarily it should be us, us doing our things. You know, we pastors, you know, in church. Uh, uh, Tim, my man, I I'm really sorry. My groomsmen are already complete, my man. I'm sorry. Mm. Really sorry, my man. Oh no, it's okay. It's no, no problem. I'm really sorry. No problem. I, 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 I thank you for understanding. Ah, ah, no problem. God bless you. Mumunai. Sorry, my man. I can't put him, my man. He's sorry for me. I'm sorry for him. Not me. God, look at this idiot. Did he even believe that I was going to go for his wedding? Me. Me. Tim. A man with God's unction upon his life, with the so much anointing that God has put upon my life, I will go and play second fiddle. Brother Tim, you amazed me. I mean, you were not talking about best man before he came. 
I mean, you hadn't said anything about good about him. Does Only to be talking about best man. What well, is wrong do, with you? Do, does that matter? Does that matter? You, you, you don't have ambition. You don't dream at all. Keep sleeping. What matters is that Pastor Henry has all of a sudden and automatically beginning to feel that he is superior to us. Mm. Pastor Henry. Yes. Man of God. He walks around with this air of God. <laughs> Pastor Henry. And you people are looking at him. Pastor Henry. One boy. You want to be Papa's boy till you die? Me! I want to be Bishop. I have role models. If you do not know what you want, me, I have a dream. Are you sure you are being led by the Spirit? Oh! The Spirit of God is leading me and I can see it. If you are blind, I have eyes. Anyway, well, let's go for a prayer meeting. Come, I want to ask. This um, Friday um, prayer meetings and Bible studies, how come it is Pastor Henry that now has the uh, uh, entitlement to become the prayer leader? You have started again. No, 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 no. Does he ordinarily, I mean, ordinarily, does he have the unction that I have upon my life? No, let's be realistic. Does he have the word? Can he minister? Can he move mountains? No! But God knows. When God begins to use me, <laughs> hallelujah, they will see a man of God walking with the venom of God's fire Amen. spitting from his mouth. Another Moses of our time. They will see how God will use me to move mountains between the life of man and the made of God. God will see me. I don't understand myself again. Me and Tim were not working out. I've tried, but it's not working out. <gasps> Statina, isn't that what everybody has been trying to tell you? Tim, Tim has issues. He's, he's messed up. But I'm having this child. Satina, that was one mistake you made. And you know how it is, one sin leads to another. So what do you suggest I do? I suggest you stop this relationship with Tim and, and sort your life out, okay? Marriage is only good when we are both, you know, naturally and spiritually ready for it. Oh God, what would people say? What would Papa say? It's not what people say that matters. It's only what God says. Okay, if only you would give him a chance, he will sort out your life for me. Sort out my life. You don't understand, do you? Look at you, your life is so arranged. Mine is scattered. I, I don't even know my left to right. You don't know what it feels like, do you? I might not know how you feel, but God knows how you feel. If only you give him a chance to talk to him about it, he will sort your life out for you. Okay, talk to God about this. Okay, I'll take your advice and I'll seek God for guidance. I'll lift him. But this time around, we need. Okay. It's not one of those promises you make me and you don't keep them. <laughs> now, check this out. Brother-in-law. Uh, does he know that he's supposed to come with you? Well, I don't think your sister is coming. <laughs> I'm going to find him all. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Um, 
They had some meeting at church with the other pastors. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Because of that, I'll forgive him. But then, if I don't see him in the next one, one hour or something, I'm going to find him. Jaya, what should we find him? I, I don't know your culture back here, but I think maybe some goats, you know, and... Yeah, some goats, like ten goats, right? Yeah, no, yeah. and a equivalent of two cows. Yes. Two cows, <laughs> on him. Two cows, I'm, on him. I'm, I'm going to have a very big party with On him, but... Yeah. Oh, Jaya, don't, 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 don't try her. You know, that's a sign, yeah? <laughs> don't try her. It's a big party. You know, she's a terrible thing. Oh, seriously, I'm... Um, He's going to meet us back at the house. And I forgot to tell you. Yeah, what's that? Mm. Uncle traveled to America. You um, kidding me? Yeah. And he, he didn't went, call me? Well, he went for some sort of um, seminar. Okay. You will be backed up six, six days. Wow. <laughs> and I prepared some meal for you guys. Really? What's it? Okay, I, I did um, mashed potatoes and um, mixed with some um, vegetable. And um, uh, I forgot to ask what you guys want to huh. eat with it. Ah, 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 ah. Come, 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 come. Eat now, joke. You better stop hammer. No, for real. I'm not finding that funny. You mean I've been away for the for a lot close to seven years and I'm coming back to this country. You want to give it that trash to eat me? Yeah. Potatoes yeah. and vegetables for what? Hey, come on, girl. Come on, baby. What have you, what have you been eating back there? No, well, like, well, I've been eating that because I didn't have a choice now. <laughs> Gerald, I mean, you, you know Niger food cause of fortune. You're right. Then you're I'll right. come back to this country. You can't give it that trash. <laughs> no, no, no. So no, what do you want? Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you very much for asking. Now that you've asked, thank you very much. I'll just have a very light meal of pounded yam or soup with some pomo, you know, with only shimmy she can with some good old oh, 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 that's a meal. <laughs> yeah, that's a meal. Oh, oh, you know what? So I know the, the, the yam thing, the goat, but what's the other one? Oh, you mean the orishi wishy part of it? Yeah. Now that's pomo, that's pomo, you know. That's um like what <laughs> what, that, what what's that? The cow cow skin? The cow skin? Oh. You know, you sweet, sweet, come on now, so, so, you remember when mama used to be alive then, you know. <laughs> Don't tell me you came no, back no, here to no, no, eat. No, wait. I came out to eat. <laughs> no, seriously, I came out to eat. Okay. Where are you gonna have some fun? Girl, you better take me to the market. Okay. okay. <laughs> What does the man need from me now? Pastor. Pastor. Man of God. Man of God, it's not fair. It's not fair the way you are treating me. You seem to have forgotten your, your days of little and humble beginnings. Tim, my man. Let me ask you this. Why you want to be groomsman? Mame, I've forgiven you, but I still remember how you swindled me of all the money I had that God gave me. See, Mame, you know you have a challenge when it comes to money and organizing things. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Tina. 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 So Tina has been slandering me behind my back, right? Mame, Tina need not slander you. Tina need not slander you at all. All one need to do is just meet you anyway. Anyway, my man, I'm in a hurry. I ain't going on with this talk again. Tomorrow or next. My groom men are complete. I ain't intending adding more to it. Goodbye. Uh, um, 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 uh, uh, I don't, I don't know. Please, can you help me with 1,000 Naira, please? I, I, I need to recharge my phone and make an international call, please. Let me, le, let me see what I got. My man, but you don't need to tell a lie. Eh? Look, my man, you go get yourself a job. Get a job. Pastor Henry, is it because I asked you for common 1,000 Naira? Common 1,000 Naira that people give their children to throw in offering boxes that you are insulting me? Pastor Henry, you're a man of God, though. You're a man of God. That me, man. Only 500 bucks I got here. Uh, 
I will manage. My man, that's the magic word, my man. Manage, manage. Okay, man. Hmm. I'm sure she's okay. I mean, she's been asleep for close to four hours now. <laughs> A combination of jet lag plus the amount of pandemonium she eats would be suspected. I guess you're right. I've never seen her eat so much. Yeah. <laughs> I must be Henry. Ah, mommy. Henry, you're here. Ah. I'm sorry, mommy. I got to change my Yes. You look sweet. You look beautiful. Thank you. So how was it? You swap her. Mommy, the grace of God kept me there. Even with that, I can't really say I participated in the meeting, Mommy. Can't just tell you. Huh? See you. We have here. Mommy? You, Mr. Gerard? Yes. Right. Nice meeting you, Mommy. Thank you. So I guess what um, Sandra prepared for us, she went shopping and she prepared okra and pangeriam. I hope you will eat that. Okay. You swap, bra. Mami, I'm hungry, mami. Mami, I'm hungry, old lady. There's also snacks they serve us at the meeting, mami. Good. So make yourself comfortable. Yeah, mami. You get your food. I can't wait, mami. <laughs> You're welcome, Mr. Jera. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, why not drop the Mr. Thing a bit? It's too formal. It's all right, mame. It's all right, mame. So, mame, how you first day in Nigeria be, mame? Well, I wouldn't say a typical African state. Hey, yeah, mame. But like every other African country I've visited, either in the heat of civil war. I understand you're from Liberia. Hey, yeah, mame. I'm a damn refugee in Nigeria, my man. You know, I, there's some... Hey, babes. Hi, honey. <laughs> You're up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was your sleep. Hey, who's here? Uh, Henry. Hi, Meet Sandra. Hi, my man. Sandra? How is it? What's your problem, Mami? Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Doctor, is she going to be all right? Yes. She... I don't know what must have caused her such aggravation to have made her pass out. I'm equally mystified. You, you see, she just came into the country earlier today. Well, she's sleeping now. I gave her some sedatives to make, enable her sleep throughout the night. I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Dr. Yemesi. All right. Doctor. She's fine. She's presently sleeping now and hopefully will till tomorrow morning. But, but do doctor, hope she's gonna be okay. Yes, she will. Um, I guess she has some kind of post-traumatic stress, but she's as fit as a fiddle now. Oh, doctor, she gotta be okay. Yes, she will. Give God thanks, doctor. Yes. Uh, I'll see her tomorrow morning. Okay, doctor. Yes. Uh, Jeremiah, doctor? Ah. Let me drop that off at home. I'll come back later, my man. Okay, okay. I'll take care. A bag of corn we don't even have. We barely have enough to eat. We are poor missionaries. Please spare our lives. Amen. 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 What is it? What is it? Talk to me. What? What is it? He's the one. Who is the one? Hmm? The man in the sitting room. He's the one. No, no, but, but that's only Gerard and Henry. Man 
No, that's that is Henry. No, he's the one that killed mom and dad. He's overheat. He's the one. Yeah. What you need? Uh, Major, I'm I'm here to. You. Interview you about the war. My man, I say what you need. That the problem with you damn journalists are asking you or saying something different. What you need? Sorry, uh, Major, um, I'm Gerard Hillary of uh, the Eastern African Network. My man, Gerard, you, you won't know why. You came to devil camp and I can't allow you go out of devil camp alive because I want this interview because I want the war here our own part of the damn story the war have been misleading I want them here you got me right yes major I'm major over here at the voice of the people What? He's made you overheat. Stop! Stop! Gerard, just stop it! Don't! My family connection, that's Henry! What are your people talking about? No, 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 no! That is Henry! That is the man I am going to marry in 10 days! No, 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 no! That's his father! He's not the one! He's not! That's the one! That's the one! That is Henry! No! No, no! Not! Not one word! But why, my man? I can't understand why you're stopping me from seeing her. She said she doesn't want to see anyone. Jira, my man, I'm not anyone. I'm not no one. Please, Please Henry. I got to see her, my man. Try and understand. Please. I can't understand why you're stopping me from seeing her. I, I can't understand. Please be patient, Pastor Henry. Let me go in and see her. I'll sort things out. All right, mommy. Please, doctor. going on here? Gerald, could you please 
go outside and tell him that he should leave. Uh, because if I go out there, I might do something that I will regret. Come on, Sister Susan, that is rather unfair. Unfair? Unfair to who? That murderer? Who should be hanged? What? What exactly is the problem here? Uh, doctor, I... I'm sorry, you have to excuse her behavior. You see, Henry is responsible for the death of their parents. What? What are you talking about? It's a long story. But first, Susan, you have to go and see him. I have nothing to say to that murderer. Nothing. But we can't leave him out there. That is true. I should call the police. I wonder why it took me this long to know this. I will call the police. No, that is not the solution. Just go and see him and have it out with him. Have it out with him? Yes. Have it out with him. I will talk to him. No, that, that's not what I mean. I am going to talk to him. Honestly, huh? May the devil take you and your money. So that is who you are. Susan. You don't know me. Because I am going to make sure that you regret the day we were born. My lord, you gotta listen. Just get out of my house. Susan. Get the hell out of my house! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my lord. You don't want to leave. Fine. Don't leave. No problem. Susan. No problem. No, don't stop me! Susan. Susan, my love, I'm sorry. My love, I, I'm sorry, I beg you, we gotta talk. It ain't easy on me. It's not easy on me at all, we gotta talk, my love. For God's sake, I beg you. It ain't easy on me, my man. It's not easy. Are you still here? You are still here, come! You are still here, come! I will show you, I will show you. Look, I didn't have money and besides I was trusting God that he was going to use it to get yeah, something. Trusting God. You don't always have money. Not a virtuous woman. It's not industrious at all, and she calls herself the wife of a pastor. She wants to be mama. How can she be mama? My woman under his spell, I can't understand. Pastor Henry, I think we need to talk. Doctor, we gotta talk. We I can't to... understand what happened with my woman. We need to talk, let's go. Okay. 
Pastor Henry. Yes, Doctor. I want to ask you a question. Yes, Doctor. I want you to tell me the truth. Of course, Doctor. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna lie. Good. It is important I hear the truth. Doctor, what is it? Are you major over here? I'll be damned. I, 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 I hate that goddamn name. Doctor, I used to be known by that name. That was there. How about there? I can explain it. I'm listening. At the beginning of the whole problem of the war, you got to be a man to have a nickname to exist. Mommy, we soldiers of the patriotic Liberia Armed Forces took all sort of goddamn names. My name was Major Overheat. That was them, Mommy. Then I used to have a damn, goddamn nasty temper. But that was there. Mommy, what your problem? That was there. Now, Mommy, I'm a new man. I'm a new man. I'm a new man in the Lord. I'm a new man in the Lord's army. I'm a new man in the Lord's bosom. I'm a new man in Christ. What that got to do with Susan behavior? Jesus. This is really complicated. What the damn complication about it, mommy? I told you girl, oh, I got the damn name. What the damn complication all about? Sandra says you killed both her parents. You swat, bruh. God. What's the meaning of all this? Sandra says you and your group attacked and killed their parents. Are you denying it? Mommy, I'm not denying it. Mommy, you, you don't understand, Mommy. We got something working in us, Mommy. Mommy, we were high. We stay high, we live high. We mean, we did all sort of goddamn thing, Mommy. I cannot say I'm innocent about it, mommy. I cannot say it. Well, Brother Henry, you had better think of what to do. I have never seen Susan like that. Mommy, mommy, you got to help me. Mommy, the whole world is on my head. Mommy, I'm dying. Mommy, I'm dying. The whole world is on my head. Mommy, you got to help me, mommy. Oh, you swag, bro. I'll be dead. I'll be damned. <laughs> Susie, I'm sorry I'm late, okay? I'm oh, hi. I'm Tina. Sandra, right? Uh, um, you. This is Joanna. Hi. Nice meeting you. Like I was telling you, Tim showed up. Guess what? What's going on? What's happening? Huh? Did someone die? We were supposed to go shopping today, right? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to call you. Sorry, I'm late now. Hmm? Like I was telling, Tim showed up and made up. Uh, I know you're gonna look down on me, but he promised to change. Really, he's gonna change now. Please, really? I'm not in the mood for that. What is it? What is going on? Besides, we're late for the market, so get up now. Like I was saying, I forgot to call you. The shopping has been suspended. Indefinitely. 
I don't understand. It's 10 days to your wedding. Excuse me. The wedding has been cancelled. What? Hey! What happened? Jesus Christ. I will never, never get married to a deceiver. That is what Henry is. A deceiver. Oh, God. What happened? Oh, God, I'm so sorry. What happened? Cheer up, my man. You gotta talk to her. I gotta talk to my woman. She not picking my call. I call her, she not picking my call, my man. You gotta talk to her. I gotta talk to Susan. She says she won't see you. She doesn't want to talk to you. My man, I beg you in God's name. You can't do it for me, my man. You gotta do it for me. Come on, Harry. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? Look, Harry, I hate this situation as much as you do, but you got to respect their wishes. <sighs> all right, all right, my man, all right, my man. I just want you to tell her that I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry from the bottom of my heart. Now, but here. I know it's not easy for her to understand. I know it got so hard for her to understand, but my man, you got to talk to her. Okay, Henry, I've heard you. I will deliver your message. All right, my man. I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here. I'll get my feet here. What are you doing here? What you want me to do? Look, give them some few days. You got to give them some few days to sort things out between themselves, Henry. Gerard, my man, I'll be there. I got to talk to Susan. I got to talk to my wife. I got to talk to my woman. I, I be Henry, this I, is I'm not the best time. My man, what you want me to do? I'm not going anywhere. I got to be here. Don't look at you. You're already looking worn out. Henry. You need to go home and take some rest. Go home and take some rest. What you mean rest? I ask you what you mean rest? The past five days are not easy with me. I can't eat, I can't sleep, I, I can't rest. You got to make her understand. You got to talk to her. Oh, the swag bro. What kind of problem are you into? Look, Henry. Not eating, not dressing would definitely make no difference. You got to be a man. Be strong. Henry, go home and eat and rest. Clean yourself up. I promise you, things will sort itself out naturally. Just go home. I thought you said you were a Christian. Oh, new swag, brah. New pet. Come on, stop this. Be for a donor. My God, give me strength to fight. My God, I stay upon your word that say that many are the afflictions of the righteous and they shall deliver me, Lord. My God, my God, I need my woman. My God, I need Susan. My God, help me, my God. My God, you are my only strength. My God, you won't say the writers run into you and they are safe. My God, I stand only upon your word, my God. In your swag, bro. What, what God? How's it going? <sighs> it's quite unfortunate. He, he won't go. Why won't he leave? Why won't he leave? Hasn't he done enough damage already? He has, he has better go and leave us alone. He has better not think that he, he will get to me. Because I will use my connection to make sure that he's tried for mother. Susan, why not go talk to him? Nothing to say to that murderer. I feel nothing but hatred and repulsion for him. If I go out there, I will. I, mean, I will care. Somebody just needs to let this guy know that he needs to go. He really needs to go. Can we go and talk to him? 
Are you sure you could handle this? I have to get this over with once and for all. Hey, wait, hold on. Susan. Susan. I want you to understand what happened during the war. Susan. I want you to understand what happened to me. I got high on drug, liquor, weed. I got high on anything that can get me flipped. How does that change the fact that you are a cold-blooded killer? Henry, you killed my mother and father. What? Couldn't you have just shoot them? Yet you, 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 you have to, you have to butcher them like they were some animal. What kind of a monster are you? What kind of a monster does that to another living human being? Yet you stand here telling me what? Susan, that nothing changed. But Susan, you know I love you, Susan. You know. Get you behind me, Satan. Oh! My woman, you now call me Satan? I'll be damned. <laughs> Is there a word? Is there an adjective to describe what you are? Harry, is there a word? To best describe what you are? Susan. Susan. Is there a word, Henry? Is there a word? I beg you, I beg you in God's name. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you in Henry. God's name. Oh, Henry. Henry, you know me. You know me. And you know how I fight the cause for women. And that is business. But this, this is personal. I am going to make sure. I am going to make sure that you regret every pain, every misery that you have caused. Oh, I will not put it that much. Oh God. I don't ever want to see your face again. Oh God. I can't believe what's happening to me. See that? I'll be damn your life. The man goes out for days, comes back, and the woman in his life doesn't even bother to ask him where he's been. Where have you been? Well, I went, I traveled to transact some business with my foreign partners. So since you didn't bother to ask me, let me ask you, so how are you? I'm fine. Too. Eh? Did you take my... 20,000 naira for my drawer and my 2,000 naira in my bag. Eh? Money? Okay, money. Eh, eh, yes. I, 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 I took the money. I used it to make a new suit. You know I'm one of um, Pastor Henry's. In fact, I'm his best man. That's not possible. What do you mean that's not possible? I, I said I borrowed the money. I, I'm... I'll pay you back. So what is it? That is what you always say. You've not changed. Eh? Look, Tina. I only just took a little loan from you. And I said I'm going to pay back. Ah! For crying out loud. Why all this embarrassment? Look, when God begins to open the floodgates of heaven to bless me, He will see. Then you'll not be able to talk to me like this. I mean, when you see me in my homer jeep, will you talk to me like this? Maybe if you, really, if you get a decent job, I mean, it will really help. Tina, what's that supposed to mean? Just what is that supposed to mean? 
Tim, please go. I don't have your time. I don't have your time and your so many wishful talks right now. Please. Oh, oh. So, I'm upsetting you, right? Yes, I'm upset. I am very, very upset. Bro, Henry and Sister Susan has just called off the wedding. They had a big fight and they called off the wedding. You said? Yes. Hey! You said they did what? They called off the wedding. Blood of Jesus. I said it. Tina. Have you seen it? I always told you. You see? The end of the wicked is always like that. I said it. Mm. Pastor Henry, good man, holier than thou. Hey, Pastor Henry. Mm. God. I said, God, you will never let me down. Oh, Abba Father. God, you will never let me down. Thank you, Lord, for vindicating me. Yes, at least. You see the handwork of the. What did you say happened? Tell me what happened. How am I supposed to know? It's none of my business. She just told me the wedding has been called off. Hey! And that Pastor Henry has been moving about like a madman. I shouldn't be sitting down here. Let me go and hear. My eyes are seeing, my ears will hear. I will. This one, I will. I will hear all this now. I will. Uh, I, I said it. I said it. Peace be upon this house. Ah, good day, sir. Good day. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Good day. I, I, I am, I am bro, sorry, Pastor Tim, one of the vibrant pastors in Susan's church. And by God's grace, God has been using me to do mighty things. Um, I'm sure one of these days, by the leading of the Holy Spirit, we'll be able to hook up sometime so that I, I could take you around town and show you one or two places that God will be um, inspiring you and leading you to sow seeds in time of harvest like this, you know, you need the hand of God. I'm sure there are. What did you call your name again? Oh, Tim. Oh, Timothy Samuel. Pastor Timothy Samuel. A man of God, a true child of God, born again, Christian spirit filled, doing great things. Are you the most high God? Yes, yes. Uh, you said you want to see Miss Susan. Yes. Uh, Susan and I have been very, very great friends, and Susan is a true friend of mine. In fact, you know how it is in church, brother and sister getting very close. At one time, people were beginning to say that, um, you know, that we were becoming an item in church. Uh, Mr. Timothy, um, you might have had some kind of social interaction with Miss Susan in the past, but I'm, uh, I'm afraid she's not available at the moment. She's asleep. Oh, no, 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 no problem. Just tell her it's Pastor Timothy Samuel. No, uh, I'm sorry. She really, really needs the rest. Blood of Jesus. But then, uh, uh, if you... Mister, please, try and understand. Okay, okay. Uh, is it true that um, she has finally broken her engagement with um, uh, Pastor Henry? And how is that your business? No, 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 no. Ah, don't misunderstand me. What I'm trying to say is, you see, being a man of God, a man that has lived his life totally and dedicatedly serving God, I had always seen it that that man, Pastor Henry, I'm sure you really do not know him, that man is a very fraudulent person. You know, Sister Susan is somebody that needs a man like me by her side, a man with a vision, a man with a calling, somebody that God has appointed for her. You see, Sister Susan is uh, a very Pastor tender Timothy, person and... I'm afraid you are overstaying your welcome. Please, you may leave now. Who would I? I didn't... Excuse me. <laughs> mm. 
Did I say anything wrong now? God knows. I said my mind. The truth that God has led me to say, I will say it. God knows my heart is clean. I am glad this is not good. Yes, he has gone. He has this disgusting character. I think Henry has my tail problem. Susan. I do not think what you are doing is right. Excuse me? I mean, you cannot continue like this. How can you say that after what Henry did to Sandra? I thought you said you love my sister. Of course I love your sister. I love Sandra dearly. I feel bad as well. But that is definitely not the best way to handle the situation. And how is the best way exactly to handle the situation, Gerald? <sighs> Gerald, please. Gerald, this is a family matter. Stay out of it. Does that justify you castigating the young man without even hearing from him? Stay out of this, Gerald. Please. What exactly do you expect him to say? Other than the usual excuse that people give when they willfully commit atrocity. Blame it on the devil. Before acknowledging our first timers, there is an August visitor here. Her family have been dedicated servants of God till they went to be with the Lord. One of their daughters has continued fellowshipping with us. You are not Sister Susan. Her sister, who has been abroad for the past seven years, is here today. With your friends, please join me in welcoming Sister Sandra Roberts. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Um, I want to say good afternoon to our senior pastor and all the pastors, the bishops, the reverends, even the choir, the ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. It's so good to be back after seven years. I really thank God that um, I'm still a lot of people I, I, I know from way back. Thank you so much for this rare privilege. Thank you. Um, I just want to crave your indulgence to take a little bit of time um, to also use this opportunity to um, thank God and introduce my friends to you, <laughs> Gerald. Um, let me also use the opportunity to tell everybody here to tell you a little story. A lot of us in this church know that my parents, Evangelist and Mrs. Roberts, went to Liberia and never came back. But a lot of us do not really know what happened to them. So I want to take this opportunity for you to please give me a little time to tell you exactly what happened in Liberia. It all started on the 17th of November, 1989. The press then has declared the state of the United States a country. He promises a normal civil return in shortest possible time. He however denies that the militias do not have control of the Bank County region, and the militia leader has denied any act of genocide taking place. All foreign embassies have started evacuating their citizens. From Liberia, it's been Shara Robert reporting. There's been an outcry over the recent killing of seven Catholic nuns in Bon County Mission Home. The president has expressed his dismay and calls on the international communities to step in. The Vatican City this has issued a statement calling on the government Everybody to have the perpetrators of the act brought to justice. Both the government troop and the militia have accused each other of being responsible. From Liberia, it's been Jonalisa Jones. He's mediating dishonors. Imagine 300 king single up and people finish. People finish. You know what? I have my own reservation. I think we are looking at a full blown war here. Jesus. That Miss Susa has to stay back in Nigeria for next week. Yes, she has to. She has to. Mama, you people will have to go back to Nigeria to meet her. It's safer there. You will have to leave immediately to Nigeria. Pa, what about you? No, I'm a missionary. I have to stay back here, mix up with the local churches and see what we can do. You have to go back to Nigeria. Oh man, the war going on. I want you to be killed. You must not be involved. Mama, this is a war. Situation. There's going to be war, and you know very well that it is not going to be safe here. You have to go back to Nigeria. Of course, you know it's safer there. Look, Sandra will go and join her sister. Mm. I'm staying right here with you. This is my country. If you stay, I stay. Hey. Man, it might be your country, but in what situation they don't know no citizen or stranger? No, no oh man, it's it too man dangerous. Man. You could get killed. Things degenerated, borders were closed, and a 24-hour coffee was imposed on the country. There was great terror in the land. The militia began to go from house to house, demanding and confiscating whatever they laid their hands on. You all fuck up people. You got me? You all damn fuck up people. What you got? <laughs> you now know why I say you all fuck up people? Oh, so yeah, you're hiding all the good things you got, right? We are missionaries. We don't have no valuables. Your people have come here before and they know we are poor. We hardly have enough to eat. Close you dead more. Close you damn dead more. You're the garbage that 
that tackle the people mind in the name of God. You watch that the damn, the damn politician that put on the land. The red boss, man. You correct? You know me? <laughs> Are the popular a female major over here? You know why the damn people call me major over here? No, sir. <laughs> they know. Because when I ain't get what I want, that the time I get over here, I'm born as it. Get me? Now, when you all get all the damn values, you have the name of the people, the racial army or Liberia. Like I told you before, we don't have anything. We don't have, we don't, we don't have, we don't even corn. We don't have food to eat. We don't have money. We are just poor missionaries. We don't have anything. <laughs> the people already have come before and they know. Oh, yeah? Don't you take him out? Mame? Yeah, boss man. Mame? Yeah, boss man. man. We ain't got food. We ain't got money. We ain't got that. Boss man, they lying. You can't understand me, right? Hmm? You can't understand me. You can't understand me. I tell you. Ah! Ah! Come on, man. Leave my father alone. You, you was that the that the village are you in the name of of the republic you you supposed to be having people you brutes Mame? boss man boss man are you talking to her Mame? are you talking to boss man Mame? yeah boss man we all got a wild kid Mame. every wild kid boss Mame, man we all got fresh meat Mame. Damn it, man. too fresh oh yeah yeah right boss man yeah oh oh you the virgin that no man touched up before Mame? Huh? You son of a bitch! You brute! You're worse than a robber! Please, please, oh, yes? leave her in the name of God. Please, oh, God, oh, God. please, 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 oh, God. 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 please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, Mame? Please. Yeah, Mame? Yeah, boss man. Mame? Oh, oh yeah, she's a sweetie, Mame. Boss man. Ah, if you are rocking the team oh, too, right, Mame? Oh. In the name of God. Boss, boss man, I beg you. Boss man, you got it in the name of God. Please, I beg you. Show your dirty mom. Please. Mame? Yeah, boss man. I want you to take all the all outside. Oh, they got oh. something they are hiding, my man. Exactly. I want you to take them out. What you got doing? You can't go far. Boss, boss, boss man, no. You got them, man. Go. Churches and mosques were not left out. People were raped with impunity. Amongst the militia, the People's Revolutionary Army, PRA was the strongest and most notorious. The members were ruthless. They took over one rural area after the other as they made their way into the capital, raiding house after house, claiming they were commandeering it in the name of the revolution. They spared families they got valuables from. But homes like ours that had nothing were battered.
with the Lord. Ask you the last time where you go, where your general or your valuable. A bag of corn we don't even have. We barely have enough to eat. We are poor missionaries. Please spare our lives. Amen. 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 Please. I don't want anyone to talk to one care. I got a plan with her, JJ. Okay, okay, Jesus. You got the best. in our own case, and my parents were killed. Major Overheat insisted that I had too much fire in me that had to be doused. Oh, lady. Ooh. Oh. They left me when I passed out, presumed dead. Ah. Oh. I woke up and found myself naked in the midst of dead bodies. I don't know where I got the energy from, but I was able to strip a body and wear her dress and started off trying to make my way to the capital.
was how I met Miriam, another Liberian girl who was leading a small pack of refugees, also trying to make her way to the capital. It's just a little water. I give the children. Let's just give it to them. I became closer as she showed me how to survive. We lost the baby. We lost baby destiny that day. I guess she just could not handle a diet of lizards, roots and berries like Miriam and I. Miriam said it was better for her that she died. But it didn't make it easier to bear. We buried baby destiny in the woods and moved on. That was how we got rescued by the Ecomog soldiers. 
I lost contact with Miriam as we fled the country. I later left for the United States and have never returned to either Liberia or Nigeria till now. But to my distraught, after thinking that I have put this whole episode behind me, my supposed happy journey has turned to a sad one. Because major overheat. Ladies and gentlemen, as I talk to you, sits in this congregation. Yes. In fact, as I talk to you, Major Overheat, who has been pretending to be a man of God and a pastor in this church, heads for the door. Today is your day of judgment, Major Overheat. Judgment starts from the house of God. I heard he has been arrested and detained. Yep. But I still don't get it. What is the charge? I mean, Henry has not committed any crime in this country. Uh, Gerald, does that make him less a criminal? How did he come in? I mean, what is the story? Yeah, whatever, man. For all I care, he changed his identity and fled Liberia or something. Oh, Susan. I'm sure this is really traumatic for you. It's a terrible experience. But if my younger sister could survive a far more horrifying fate, so can I. Susan, I still think you should be a bit more careful with the way you take decisions. I know you have the right to be upset though, but Henry could be really repentant. People do change, you know. Yeah, he's changed. Does that mean he shouldn't be held accountable for what he did? Please, I don't want you to misunderstand what I'm about to tell you. Before this whole episode began, you were in love with Henry. You wanted to marry him. So what happened? Did all those qualities just disappear? You don't love him anymore? Gerald, please, please. For Pete's sake, please. What manner of talk is this? Well. That is just food for thought. If you ladies will excuse me, I want to go for a walk. You know, I don't like the insinuations that Gerald's making. Sometimes I think it's because of the wars and all the experiences it's had. You know, it's just not on the same page sometimes, you know? Anyway, Sue, so I really want you to know that this man is not the right man for you. Trust me. I mean, He's got too much blood on his hands. But I want you to think about it though. Give it a thought, you know. Think about it properly and when you're done, if you really still love him and want to get married to him, you're free to go ahead, really. 
can. me is the fact that you keep comparing me to Pastor Henry. Now here it is. The truth is finally out. What do you have to say? I mean we all now know that he's a murderer, a vicious one at that, a killer. Hey! I've never compared it with anyone. You have. You have. Even though you've not mentioned it, I know that in your heart you have compared me. This man you are seeing here. Stop seeing me like this to do. Tina, begin to see the future in me. When you all will call me Papa. Then you will know. <laughs> you should be thinking. Why don't you start from somewhere? At least start by getting a decent job. Wasn't I working? Wasn't I working in church before you? You, Tina, made them fire me. Was I not working? Me? You are stuck because of your conduct in the church. And you should be very, very grateful to Papa because he's a very forgiving man. Till tomorrow you've not been able and you won't be able to tell them of what happened to the offering money. I told you. This money got missing. God knows. Heaven is my witness. The money got lost. In the church premises? Yes! And how come the next day I caught you in a hotel with a girl? Meanwhile, the previous day you had nothing. Not even a cover. Look, 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 look. Who are we talking about here? Are we talking about Pastor Henry who is a killer? Your friend? We're talking about me. You started it, huh? Okay. I'm ending it. Only God knows what will happen to him now. Why am I even asking? We know. You and I know. First of all, he's going to be excommunicated. I can never forget that look of misery in his eyes. And that of Sister Susan. They were so much in love. Not like some people I know. I don't know what, I don't know, whatever they say he did and uh, all those things, I still think he's a very good person. He's a very good person? Yes. Do you know sometimes, I really have to think about it. I mean, you keep me wondering if you are really born again a spirit field. How can you call a man who has gone around killing hundreds, probably thousands of people a good man? Tina, I think you need your head examined. You need deliverance, you know. I'm going inside the room. All of a sudden, I'm not feeling this discussion again. Please, before you go inside the room, get me something to eat. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Mm. How could you have allowed this kind of thing to happen? What did the Bible say about letting the cause settle out disputes? You all decided to mob him. This is no dispute. You needed to have been there. You needed to have heard all the things Sandra said about him. And indeed, the congregation was upset. And my God, when he got up and she pointed him out, the congregation just went berserk. And you decided to pass judgment on him. Oh, dear Lord. Isn't it? This is no judgment. And how can you say something like this? Robert was not only loved by you, Robert was loved by all who met him when he was sent here to Mission Field. 
the church sent him to Liberia. The same church just felt that for the sake of his memory and for his beautiful children, that we owe it to them to get his killers to justice. To see that I'm disappointed that your choice of words is to put it mild. In fact, an understatement. So you take vengeance? James, you and all who are involved in this solid affair have sinned against that young man. Where, where, where are you going? Of course I have to see to his bed. Okay, Papa. He's saying that the uh, immigration has taken interest in your case. So I've called the church legal counsel to take it from there. Why not it? Ah, Pa, I thank you. I got no man to eat food. I'm fasting. You don't look like you've been eating for some time now. But not to worry. Um, like every other storm in life, this one will come to pass. By the Lord, I asking you, when the storm passes, I won't know if the fact that I the one responsible for the greatest pain I cost my woman gonna change. But I'm asking you, I won't know if the fact that I know that everyone ain't like me, I won't know if it's going to change. Pastor Henry, Pastor Henry, what we did to you is abominable. We want you to please forgive us. Pastor Henry, forgive me personally. I was the one. I am responsible for what you're going through. Pardon the Lord, pardon the Lord. I won't know who I am. I won't know me. Like it happening in the movies. Like I'm watching a movie. And I know that the only place in the world I know it can happen. It's not easy. You listen to my song. I think I'm equally responsible. Because after you confess to me, I shall call the elders together to discuss this. Come on, as it may, this is only a challenge. A test of your own fate. No, 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 Pa. It's not an issue anymore. Pa, I ain't think Susan can love me anymore. I don't think she can forgive me. Pa, I'm not going to forgive her eye in her shoe. It's not easy. Why is that? You doubt the power of God. Pa, it got nothing to do with God. It got nothing to do with God. This does Caesar do. Pa, I rape her sister. I kill her pa, I kill her mom. That the fact that nothing changes. Did you do that? You all check it. I can't remember her. But Pa, I know I did all the bad, bad things that chuckle my past. So you tell me, Pa, how you think Susan, my woman, going to forgive me for all I did? It's not easy. You are limiting the hands of God. But let me leave it at that. For now, I'm very, very busy. We'll talk later. I want you to hold on. You are getting out of this place latest tomorrow morning. Oh, give yes. God thanks. Let us pray. So that's Gerald. We actually would have come to see you if we knew you were back. 
Um, yeah, but Sue actually went visiting. She would soon be back. Okay. Maybe it's all for the best. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, actually, we need to talk about the situation as it affects Susan. Yeah, I was hoping someone would come up with their suggestion. It's the doing of God, I'm sure. Well, uh, for the sake of our guest, um, I would like to explain my relationship with the family. Her father was my senior brother, the only brother I had. Uh, he was actually the one who led me to Christ. Yes. He was called into the missions. Well, I was called to pastor the church. And the church financed all his missionary trips. I wanted him and her mother. I baptized her with her sister Susan. I would have been the one to pastor her wedding. But for the unfortunate tragic incident. But God willing, I will be overseeing the marriage. Then I think you are the most qualified to mediate. I am. I, in fact, I owe it as a duty to both of them and to God. Yes. Uncle, um, I'm sorry. It's not like I'm trying to deprive you of your right to mediate um, in this matter, but I really don't see where this is going to get us because we would leave and put this whole sad episode behind us. Would it actually end it? I mean, in my book, I would call it running away. If running away will bring this matter to an end, then you have been able to put it, the, I mean, the incident over you, behind you long ago. Uncle, I did not run away. I, I, I stayed away. I needed to stay away. For close to seven years, seven good years. And yet you've not been able to come to terms with what happened. Hmm? Now you are encouraging your sister to do the same thing. Tell me, in your decision, have you actually considered her? I mean, Susan. I mean, how she feels. Susan feels the same way I do. Uncle, this man killed our parents for crying out loud. I'm not even talking about me. I'm not talking about what he did to me, but Uncle, for crying out loud. Think about what he did to your brother. Your only brother. Think about the way he was butchered and burnt like a common animal by this man, Uncle. This man. And you want vengeance? You want to hurt him? The way he has hurt you. You want an eye for an eye. You want your palm of flesh. I don't want anything from him! No, I don't! Susan can do whatever she wants to do. She's an adult! You know, you and I know that it is not true. You are all that son has left. I should not have the courage to do as she pleases. Because your feeling is the first. Sandra, you are the only one that can settle this situation. Why is this depending on me? Why? Uncle, I am the, I'm the victim here. No. Susan and Henry are the victims. You were once a victim, yes. But today, both of them are the victims. If we can only forgive them, Susan will be free. This is not fair. It's not fair. 
Why do you make me feel like I don't even care about my own sister's happiness? Don't I care about my own sister's happiness, Uncle? I did not say that. Now listen to me, Sandra. Are you a believer? <laughs> Uncle, huh? please. Please, this is not about religion. No. All right. Listen to me. Your father was my single brother. The only brother I had. I have that guilty conscience because I was the one who sent him to Liberia where he was killed with a mother. I feel the pains. I know you are hot. Yeah? But I'm also hot. Please, we must move forward. We must let this incident behind us. Now tell me, what would your mother and father want you to do in this circumstance? Can you tell me? Please, anyhow. I don't know if you still love me anymore. I beg you, Tina. I beg you, tell me the truth. She's confused. Oh, yes, what? My woman is not supposed to be going to what she's experiencing now. I now know I pay for all the bad bad things I did in the past. My woman is innocent. Everybody is innocent. So nobody yes. is innocent, Pastor Henry, please. Not you, not Sister Susan, not even me. In one word, the other, everyone is guilty of something. Sister and the Lord, it's not easy. That no mass mother, that no rape, that no all the barbarity I did in my past. Every sin is equal in the sight of God. I'm not really the right person to advise you now. I don't know what you did, but whatever it is, you did that when you were in the world. You're a changed person now. A born again Christian. I know. I know, sister. I'm the first one to condemn myself for what I did in my past. Yes, what? Now, I'm begging you, Father. I'm begging, yes, what? To let my sin pass by me. It's not easy. Sister and the Lord, I be damned and no better. And I can't do anything now. The woman I love not calling me devil. Susan calling me devil. She didn't say anything like that. She never said anything like that, Pastor Henry. She's hurt. She's confused. But she still loves you. Sister, you telling the truth? You sure? I am very sure. I know, maybe because of my battling with challenges in respect of love, I, I, I see things the way they really are. Sister, I beg you. I 
me your help. You gotta help me. I love my woman. I want you tell her I'm sorry for everything. I love my woman. I love Susan. I die. I die. She still loves you. Mr. Man, you are free to go. Come and stand for your thing. Elia is better you. Oh God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Yes, wow. Oh my God. And I know you are the true God. I thank you for your delivering me. My God, you be free. My God, I exalt your name. I wait for you outside. Hello? Oh, she said that man is to remain in court study until further notice. We just got a signal from the head first headquarters. Oh, okay, so. Wow. Oh, God. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened since I've been good? What is the problem? You tell me. I don't understand. Tell me, Susan. Am I the one depriving you of your happiness? Sandy, why do you think that? You're my sister for crying out loud. Uncle was here today and insinuated that I was the one influencing you. In what way? Huh? Oh, he says, since I would not forgive that murderer, I influence you not to forgive him also. Why would he think a thing like that? He. He killed our parents and raped you. Do you love him? I... I... Susan, do you still love him? Sandy, I don't know. After all know. he did to us, do you still love him? I don't know. <sighs> Susan, you know... I love you. I love you very much. I mean, you're my sister, but I can never forgive this man. I can never forgive him for all that he's done to us. I can never. Sorry. Don't. I really have thought about it. Place in my heart to forgive him. And I. I don't want to stand in your way. Don't, don't, don't say that. I've thought about it. I'll be leaving tomorrow morning. Don't I'm sorry. Do this. Sandy, Sandy, don't do this. Sandy, don't do this. You're my only sister. I love you. You know, nothing, 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 could you be so unfeeling? Coco, okay. I don't understand what you're talking about. Did you call Victor today? Victor? Who is Victor? Don't play games with me, young woman. You know who I'm talking about. The Chief Justice of the Federation. Oh, that's Victor. Well, I did call him to find out if there is a way he can help to see that we extradite Pastor Henry back to his country to answer for his crime. Since obviously there is nothing this great country can do about it. I can't believe you are the one doing this. You might be stubborn, strong-headed sometimes, but never vindictive. <laughs> you see? You see, uncle? 
So, Uncle, you're trying to insinuate that I'm the one influencing her, right? I said so before. And I'm saying it again. Oh. This is your handiwork. She has nothing to do with this. Absolutely nothing. Pastor Henry committed a crime against humanity. And it's only fair that he goes back to answer for his crimes. It's, it's unfortunate that he's one of our shining pastors. But the fact remains that he committed a crime. And he has to answer for them. I hate to say this. But if you insist on your course of action, you will live to regret it. Yes. Both of you have come of age. And I can't carry you across my knees to flog common sense into both of you. As for you, Sandra, may God have mercy on you. I'm going. But rest assured that I will fight you every inch of the way. What just happened? Whose, whose side is uncle supposed to be on? You know, sometimes I even wonder if it's family. You see what I keep telling you? <laughs> But he's saying that the uh, immigration has taken interest in your case. So I've called the church legal counsel to take it from there. Why not eat? Ah, uh, Pa, I thank you. I got no man to eat food. I'm fasting. You don't look like you've, you've been eating for some time now. But not to worry. Um, like every other storm in life, this one will come to pass. Pine the Lord, I'm asking you, when the storm passes, I won't know if the fact that I'm the one responsible for the greatest pain I caused my woman going to change. But I'm asking you, I want to know if the fact that I know that everyone ain't like me, I won't know if it's going to change. Pastor Henry, Pastor Henry, what we did to you is abominable. We want you to please forgive us. Pastor Henry, forgive me personally. I was the one. I am responsible for what you're going through. Pardon the Lord, pardon the Lord. I won't know who I am. I won't know me. Like it happening in the movies. And like I'm watching a movie. And I know that the only place in the world I know it can happen. It's not easy. You listen to my son. I think I'm equally responsible. Because after you confess to me, I shall call the elders together to this condition. Come on, as it may, this is only a challenge. A test of your own faith. No, 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 Pa. It's not an issue anymore. Pa, I ain't think Susan can love me anymore. I ain't think she can forgive me. Pa. I'm not gonna forgive your eye in her shoe. It's not easy. Why is that? You doubt the power of God. But it got nothing to do with God. It got nothing to do with God. This does Caesar do. Pa, I rape her sister. I kill her pa. I kill her mom. That the fact that nothing changing. Did you do that? Pa, you all check it. I can't remember her. But Pa, I know I did all the bad, bad things that chuckle my past. So you tell me, Pa, how you think Susan, my woman, gonna forgive me for all I did? It's not easy. You are limiting the hands of God. But let me leave it at that. 
For now, I'm very, very busy. We'll talk later. I want you to hold on. You are getting out of this place latest tomorrow morning. Give okay, God thanks. Let us go. So that's Gerald. We actually would have come to see you if we knew you were back. Um, yeah, but Sue actually went visiting. She would soon be back. Okay. Maybe it's all for the best. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, actually, we need to talk about the situation as it affects Susan. Yeah, I was hoping someone would come up with that suggestion. It's a doing of good, I'm sure. Well, uh, for the sake of our guest, um, I would like to explain my relationship with the family. Her father was my senior brother, the only brother I had. Uh, he was actually the one who led me to Christ. Yes. He was called into the missions. Well, I was called to pastor the church. And the church financed all his missionary trips. I wedded him and her mother. I baptized her with her sister Susan. I would have been the one to pastor her wedding. But for the unfortunate tragic incident but God willing I will be overseeing the marriage then I think you are the most qualified to mediate I am I in fact I owe it as a duty to both of them and to God yes uncle um, I'm sorry it's not like I'm trying to deprive you of your right to mediate um, in this matter, but I really don't see where this is going to get us, because we would leave and put this whole sad episode behind us. Would it actually end it? I mean, in my book, I would call it running away. If running away will bring this matter to an end, then you have been able to put it, I mean, the incident over you, behind you long ago. Uncle, I did not run away. I, mm. I, I stayed away. I needed to stay away. For close to seven years, seven good years. And yet you've not been able to come to terms with what happened. Hmm? Now you are encouraging your sister to do the same thing. Tell me. In in your decision, have you actually considered her? I mean, Susan. I mean, how she feels. Susan feels the same way I do. Uncle, this man killed our parents for crying out loud. I ask you the last time where you go, where your general or your valuable. A bag of corn we don't even have. We barely have enough to eat. We are poor missionaries. Please spare our lives. I don't want anyone to stop the work here. I gotta play with her, did it? Okay, okay, okay,
I'm not even talking about me. I'm not talking about what he did to me, but I'll go for crying out loud. Think about what he did to your brother. Your only brother. Think about the way he was butchered and burnt like a common animal by this man. Uncle. vengeance. You want to hurt him the way he has hurt you. You want an eye for an eye. You want your palm of it. I don't want anything from him. No, I don't. Sister can do whatever she wants to do. She's an adult. You know, you and I know that it is not true. You are all that son has left. I should not have the courage to do as she pleases. Because your feeling is the first. Sandra, you are the only one that can settle this situation. Why is this depending on me? Why? Uncle, I am the I'm the victim here. No. Susan and Henry are the victims. You were once a victim, yes, but today, both of them are the victims. If we can only forgive them, Susan will be free. This is not fair. It's not fair. Why do you make me feel like I don't even care about my own sister's happiness? Don't I care about my own sister's happiness, uncle? I did not say that. Now listen to me, Sandra. Are you a believer? <laughs> uncle, huh? please. Please, this is not about religion. No. All right. Listen to me. Your father was my senior brother. The only brother I had. I had that guilty conscience because I was the one who sent him to Liberia where he was killed with her mother. I feel the pains. I know you are hot. Yeah? But I'm also hot. Please, we must move forward. We must let this incident behind us. Now tell me, What would your mother and father want you to do in this circumstance? Can you tell me? Anyhow. I don't know if you still love me anymore. Mm. I beg you, Tina, I beg you, tell me the truth. She's confused. Oh, yes, what? My woman is not supposed to be going to what she's experiencing now. I now know I pay for all the bad, bad things I did in the past. 
my woman innocent. Everybody innocent. Yes, Nobody yes, is innocent, Pastor Henry. Please. Not you, not Sister Susan, not even me. In one way or the other, everyone is guilty of something. Sister, the law is not easy. There are no mass murder, there are no rape, there are no other bad things I did in my past. Everything is equal in the sight of God. I'm not really the right person to advise you now. I don't know what you did, but whatever it is, you did that when you were in the world. You're a changed person now. A born again Christian. I know. I know, sister. I'm the first one to condemn myself for what I did in my past. Yes, what? Now, about you. I'm begging you, Father. I'm begging yes, what? To let my sin pass by me. It's not easy. Sister and the Lord, I be damn and no better. And I can't do anything now. The woman I love not calling me devil. Susan calling me devil. She didn't say anything like that. She never said anything like that, Pastor Henry. She's hurt. She's confused. But she still loves you. Sister. You telling the truth? You sure? I am very sure. I know, maybe because of my battling with challenges and respect of love, I, I, I see things the way they really are. Sister, I beg you. I need your help. You gotta help me. I love my woman. I want you to tell her I'm sorry for everything. I love my woman. I love Susan. I die. I die. She still loves you. Mister Man, you are free to go. Come and stand for your thing. Ella is buried. you. Uncle. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Yes, wow. Oh my God. I now know you are the true God. I thank you for your delivering me. Oh. My God, you be praying. My God, I exalt your name. I wait for you outside. Hello? Those who say that man is to remain in court study until further notice. We just got a signal from the head, first headquarters. Oh, yes, ma'am. What happened? Oh, God. What happened? That's right. That's right. What happened? That's right. What happened? Right. What happened? What is it? What happened since I've been gone? What is the problem? You tell me. I don't understand. Tell me, Susan. Am I the one depriving you of your happiness? Sandy, why would you think that? You're my sister for crying out loud. Uncle was here today and insinuated that I was the one influencing you. In what way? Huh? Well, he says, since I would not forgive that murderer, I influence you not to forgive him also. Why would he think a thing like that? He killed our parents and raped you. Do you love him? I... I... Susan, do you still love him? Sandy, I don't After know. After all he did to us, do you still love him? I don't know. <sighs> Susan, you know... I love you. I love you very much. I mean, you're my sister, but I can never forgive this man. I can never forgive him for all 
that he's not to us, I can never. But don't. I really have thought about it. But I can't find a place in my heart to forgive him. And I... I don't want to stand in your way. Don't say that. I've thought about it. understand what you're talking about. Did you call Victor today? Victor? Who is Victor? Don't play games with me, young woman. You know who I'm talking about. The Chief Justice of the Federation. Oh, that's Victor. Well, I did call him to find out if there is a way he can help to see that we extradite Pastor Henry back to his country to answer for his crime. Since obviously, there is nothing this great country can do about it. I can't believe you are the one doing this. You might be stubborn, strong-headed sometimes, but never vindictive. <laughs> you see? You see, Uncle? So, Uncle, you're trying to insinuate that I'm the one influencing her, right? I said so before, and I'm saying it again. Uh, this is your handiwork. She has nothing to do with this. Absolutely nothing. Pastor Henry committed a crime against humanity. And it's only fair that he goes back to answer for his crimes. It's, it's unfortunate that he's one of our shining pastors. But the fact remains that he committed a crime and he has to answer for them. I hate to say this, but if you insist on your course of action, you will live to regret it. Yes. Both of you have come of age. And I can't carry you across my knees to flog common sense into both of you. As for you, Sandra, may God have mercy on you. I'm going. But rest assured that I will fight you every inch of the way. What just happened? Whose, whose side is uncle supposed to be on? You know, sometimes I even wonder if he's family. You see what I keep telling you? <laughs> it always has to be about me. It's always me. I be damned. I can't understand. One policeman came and said I'm free to go. Another one came to say I can't go on bail. Barista came to say I don't worry. But what happened? I can't understand. This is why I'm here. I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Susan has started proceedings for extradition to Liberia. The Chief Justice of the Federation was a friend of my father while he was alive. I tried to talk him out of it, but he insists that the proceedings must go on. Pa, you all don't worry. You all don't worry. If that the wish of God that I go back to my country, Liberia, it all right with me. It all right, Pa. But I know I come and go dying. I know. 
I will do the best I can to stop that extradition. But even if I fail, I will make sure you have a very good lawyer. Pa, pa in the law, that nothing any lawyer can do for me now. And now I know I'm going back to Liberia. And now I know I'm going back to see Cambodia again. Oh my God. Is, and now go and go to me my feet. Who is Cambodia? Pa, Kabodi. Kabodi. Kabodi, that dangerous politician. <laughs> The OPS Mache is at the far four level. What is the problem, Major? Mache, I won't ask him. Mache, I won't ask him why you attack Ganta. Ganta? Yeah, Mache. I attack Ganta? Yeah, Mache. That's my problem. Now, let me tell you something, Major. You are telling me that I'll attack Ganta, but do you know that most of these people that you are here fighting, standing for attack Ganta, most of them, don't you know that they are dissident? They are digging the fucking diamond, they are giving it to government forces. Then you are still there telling me that Mache, I attack Ganta. Mache, that thing you're telling me in a big time skanks, Mache. Ganta, Mache, my terror, Mache. And I know that people are loyal, Mache. What are you talking? Now, wait a minute. If you say the people of Ganta, they are loyal to you to the core, they tell me the fucking diamond that they have been digging, where the diamond have been giving. Where they have been uh, be taking the diamond to? So does that mean that they have been giving you the diamond? Then you have been diverting the diamond to your personal use, Major? General, I now love the way you're talking to me. General, you know I'm not a betrayer. I'm not a betrayer, you know that, Mache. How did I know that, that they are not a betrayer? While we are busy in the booth, we are fighting for them, and they are taking the fucking diamond, and they are giving it to government forces. They say your people, they are not betrayer. You are not a betrayer. General, that the reason why you kill the people, that the reason why you massacre the people, that the reason why you kill the same people that fight them for you, that the reason. Now, Major, I told you something earlier, and you must understand the fact this is a war situation. Straight bullets always have to be traveling, and war you cannot avoid it. Does that mean that everybody that died, it is I, General Kabode, that killed them? Kabode, Kabode, I not like it. I not like the way you're talking, the way you're talking, I'm chuckling my head. I not like it. Did I hear you say what? Kabode! Why are you say what? You look at me, you call me Kabode. Yeah, my man. I am General Kabode. It would be better for you to know who you are talking to. My man, play your way, my man. You think I you think I ain't know you? I know you. And know you to be a damn fucking savage. Are you telling me you're general? I know you, my man. You're damn fucking savage. I don't know why you care, my people, why you rap, my people, and you're telling me you're, you're, you're damn old fucking general. Fuck your fucking general. I'll, I'll talk to you the way I like. Now, shut up, Major. You talk to me the way you like. Yeah, my man. Major, you talk to me the way you like. You told me that I'm a fucking soldier. Do you know how I begin a general? Or do you think I just pick the rank of a general? Don't you know that we start the whole OPS? From the boot that we came down here? To fight for these same people. Then you are here talking a lot of nonsense. My man, there are big time skins you're telling my man. Big time skins. My man, let me tell you. You're fighting the war. I won't ask you what war you're fighting. The war in your office before your damn fucking death. Is that the war you're fighting? I fought the fucking war. To make sure to free your people. And you are there, you are shaking. Kabode. You must be careful. Kabode, I gotta talk to you the war I like, man. You tell I'm scared of you. You tell I'm scared of you. My man, you can't do me nothing. You can't do me nothing. My man, any bush shake, fire will blaze. I'll be them. You still have the man calling me Kabodi and say any bush shake. What kind of fucking bush shake you are talking about? My man, you are a damn fucking savage. I tell you, any bush shake, fire will blaze. Now let me make something clear to you before I leave your base. Or before I leave this base, Major. You must bear this in mind that there will be a time that you, Major, you have to answer for this. Cambodia and know you, you're not even the damn motherfucking savage. And I fear you and I'm scared of you. You can't do anything, my man. You call me a savage. But I must tell you, Major, that you will have to pay for this. One. I'm waiting for you, my man. A damn motherfucking savage. Thank you. I tell you, I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. 
And I tell you, any bullshit fire will place. Okay, my people, you loot my people, the same people that fight for you, and you're telling me about it. Mama, what you did here? Yeah, mama. Mama, yes, I love you all. Yes. Hey, mama, you all know that I got a new tete. I got to enjoy my tete. Enjoy my tete. I want you all keep quiet. When I call you, come enjoy tete. You go enjoy tete now, so. Yes. Mama, now, so. Yes. Oh, mama, you are good. Yes. Oh. Chica, good for you, my man. You better. What you say? Chica, but it's good for you, my man. I say you better. I'll be there. My man? Hey, Chi. Come. I say come. Are you a dead motherfucker? Are you a dead man that you said I get my I'll kill you! Hey, sorry, Chi. I'll kill you! Sorry, Chi. I'll kill you! Hey, sorry, Chi. And no one on here that dead motherfucker named Capote again in the devil camp. You all hear me? Yes, you all hear me? Yes, yes, yes. What are we fighting for? Yes, yes. What are we fighting against? Yes, yes. What are we fighting against? Yes, yes. What are we going to do to the dead people like Capote? Yes, yes. Kill them! Kill them! My man, my man, have you heard? Hear what? Sorry, man. I heard there's a problem between General Kabode and Overheat. Who are you talking about, my man? General Kabode, see, Overheat is a traitor to this camp. Ah, you stupid. Why talk about my trip like that? I tell you, Swanti, you're telling me I'm stupid? You're crazy. What? Ch what are you talking about? I said, General Overheat is a traitor to this camp. What? You got a problem, my trip? Yes. Kabode made me flare like Liberia when he wanted to kill me. Pa, the Kabode, the corrupt politician. Pa, while we were fighting, the man was busy making money with all the diamond, all the gold, and the people property. And he killed the people cold bloodedly. Pa, if there anything I know about Kabode, the man is a dangerous man. Even the president of Liberia say that he ain't changed his character. If I'm not gonna go back, I know I'm gonna meet Kabode. I know he's gonna kill me in painful, slow death. I know he's gonna kill me. But what I ain't got nothing to do, that my faith. I still give thanks, Pa. I hope you do not include God among those who are helpless to save you. Pa, I'm tired. Pa, I'm tired. I wish all my bad, bad dreams can move away from my life so that I just can be all right again. Pa, I'm tired. Pa, I'm dying inside. Pa, but in everything, I still give God thanks. That what the Lord book say that in everything give God thanks. Pa, I keep on living, I keep on surviving now. By the grace of God, I say, let the will of God be done in my life, Pa. I have requested them to release you to me on self-recognition. The church legal council told me that that was possible. So let us hope it will work. Hmm? You're right, Pa. But meanwhile, we keep praying to God. I give God thanks, Pa. Yes. I give God thanks. The law book say in everything, give God thanks. I got to live on the grace of God now, Pa. Yes. So you must understand that when it comes to international issues, most especially war crimes, it's a bit too delicate. You may have migrated into the country legally, 
but it still doesn't stop them from extradicting you. But the good thing is their failure or success is completely dependent on the government. Not really, um, because God is there. He's in control of everything, the final arbiter. In fact, he is the determining factor in this case. All I want for now is for you to work hard and secure his bail. I understand your niece is working on his extradition. And um, furthermore, she's well respected in the legal circle and the human rights activist, especially a crusader for the rights of women. And I, I see she has a cordial relationship with the Chief Justice of the Federation. Unfortunately, yes, I know that. But I believe that with time, God will show her the truth. Please, do the best you can and secure his release, his bail. That's okay. It's okay. Well, Pastor is here. Let me proceed to the CP's office and start working on his bail. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. something I got to tell you about my damn past. My love, I did all kind of bad things that I don't believe that God can touch me. I don't believe that Shh, God can... You don't have to tell me anything, okay? Half, half of the tales that my sister told me about the world, I still, I still feel it. I still don't believe. still find them hard to believe. I mean... That things that happened during the war can't let me rest, can't let me sleep, giving me nightmare, making my hair look I said the whole war upon my head. Why do you have to torture yourself? Why? Mommy, I, 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 I got to tell you. You don't I, have I just, to just... tell me anything. Sweetheart, we were all bad at some point in our lives, okay? But now we are born again, so right. it doesn't count anymore. And all things have passed away. All things have become new. You're right, mommy. We are new creatures. That the Lord's word, and I believe so much in the Lord's word, mommy, because it's only the grace of God that has kept me going, on, mommy. But mommy, I got something to tell you. What? Mommy, I tell you. I love you, my love, from the bottom of my heart. I mean, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. I thank God, I bless God without you. <laughs> I mean, no, without you, I can't do anything. What would I do without you? Stop, stop, stop. Insisted. <laughs> hey, are you alright? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I was looking for you. Oh, I was, um, I was lost in thought. Are you sure? I am. Okay. I'm okay. Actually, um, you know, Gerald and I were thinking maybe we should go to the embassy and try and get your visa. Maybe we better you left, you know. My my practice, you know, my my NGO. No, my, it's all right. <laughs> so suddenly I feel the need for, for a break. Good. Good, really. You're not still thinking about that murder, are you? Yeah. yeah. He, he caused us so much pain. Hey. What do you want to eat? I'll pass. I don't have an appetite, really. I just... I'll go and have a nap. Okay, I... 
I'm not taking work. Clear my head. I'll see you later, okay? It'll be alright. Yes. Take care of yourself, man. God, he caused me so much pain. He is responsible for the death of my parents. He raped my sister. I hate him for what he did. Why does my heart yield for him? Jesus, what do I do? How do I handle this? I know he is a murderer, but my heart yields for him. I'm sorry, Sister Tina. I I didn't mean to budge on you. I just needed to clear my head. I just kept walking and I hope it's not a burden. Come on, you're not budging me. You know you're welcome in the day. Okay. Susie, um I'm really, really sorry for all that you've been going through. Okay, I really know what it feels like to be deceived by a man. That's what I keep asking myself every day. Did, did he really deceive me? You mean, I don't understand. You mean he tried telling you everything? I'm not saying he did. Oh, that's not to say that he did not try. But I was so much in love, and each time he, he, he brought it about, I, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't stand to look at the haunted look on his face, and, and I just told him I didn't want to hear about it, that he shouldn't bother. So he didn't try to deceive you, but he tried coming clean to you. No. I've always believed in my fight, in my cause, you know, for women folks, but even that, that seems like a child's play compared to what I am going through right now. One minute I am, I am consumed with hatred and, 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 and the next minute I am, I am, I, 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 it's longing and I don't have a right to, to, to to feel hate, vengeance, and anger. He, he deprived me of my parental love, and, and, and I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I don't know. Susie, I don't think I'm really the right person to advise you right now. I've now removed the pain in my eyes, not to talk of advising you about your own splitter. <laughs> you're alright. Compared to what I'm going through right now, yours was a splinter. Pardon me, you, you were saying? Yeah. I heard you say you should be feeling heat and repulsion. For who? I don't get you. No, I mean all these feelings, which of them do you have for Pastor Henry? All of them. Is this a trick question? Mm -hmm. You know, the way I say, he has done so many bad things, yes, but you love him. What was the name again you said the sister called him? Wait over it. Overheat. Is it overheat or past on heavy? You hate. Because I'm trying so hard not to see it from a Christian perspective. Is he not one and the same person? 
He killed my parents and abused my sister. How? How am I supposed to forgive that? Close your eyes. What? what? Close your eyes. Imagine Pastor Henry raping and looting. Can you see him? I don't see him. But I, I, I see his smile. And you know, he, he has this expression when he's worried about something. And that's what, what am I doing? I'm going mad. I am sick. I reject it in Jesus' name. You're not going mad. You can't see Pastor Henry because he's a changed person. Christians call it born again. A new creation. They might have been the same people, but were governed by different spirits at different times. I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. My sister... What about your sister? She's alive and we thank God for that. I mean, your parents died in Christ. Didn't Paul say to leave is to the glory of God and to die is gain? Sister Susan, don't make any mistake. You've always cautioned me. You tell me not to let my emotions be cloud my judgment. And I don't want you to do the same. supposed to do. You make it sound so easy. It's very easy. I can't say it's easy. Nothing in life is easy. We all know that, okay? But if I know you too well, you know what to do. I don't. It's okay, go ahead. I don't know what to do. Stop crying. I don't know what to do, It's okay. It's your strength, okay? Please. Please. Just stop crying.
Mind if I join you? I don't mind, man. Then you join me. Does the sun still shine? So, when did you get out? I got out this money uh, on bail. I've been restricted to the church premises and Papa's house. Uh, he was my short team, man. Mama, you you met Sandra during the war? No, I we actually met back in London. We met there in Liberia. Yes, we did. As a matter of fact, we interviewed you. Thank you very much, Major, for having me around. Mama. Yeah. What you mean? Uh, Major, I'm, I'm here to interview you about the war. My man, I say what you need. That the problem with you damn journalists are asking you or saying something different. What you need? Sorry, uh, Major, um, I'm Gerard Hillary of uh, the Eastern African Network. My man, Gerard. You, you won't know why you came to devil camp and I can't allow you go out of devil camp alive. Because I want this interview. Because I want the world here, our own part of the damn story, the war I've been misleading. I want them here. You got me right? Yes, Major. I'm Major over here at the voice of the people. That was why when I first saw you, you looked very familiar to me. Mame, when everything began, that was the existence of the youth rebellion. Mame, we were tired, we were fed up of corruption, oppression, injustice. We, the youth, we were fighting for a purpose. But Mame, when we saw the whole damn truth, nothing was to our interest. Every damn thing we were fighting against crept in. Violence is not the best result. You know, the ravages of war is not worth it at all. At all. It's a pity that we Africans have not come to realize that. Not until we do. We will always go back to the same status quo. When it got clear to my eye that the whole thing about liberation of the press and justice that we were fighting for was not the real thing, but was all about corruption and ego, my man, I had finished killing, I finished maiming, I finished meaning, I finished doing all the bad, bad things. When I talked to my people about what we were doing that was not right, they labeled me a traitor and they tried to kill me, so I fled to Nigeria. Africa is the most beautiful continent on earth. Hmm. Blessed with everything to make it the most powerful continent. Still, look at where we are. Not until we stop corruption. I'm afraid there's no place to go. <sighs> All I want now is Susan. Yeah. 
I know how I can ever pay, repay her pain, sufferings, all the bad things I caused her or her sister. Look, I am blaming them for wanting to send me back to my country, Liberia. I don't blame them. I got to pay for what I did. My main ignorance is no excuse for what I did or for the law. Yeah, I understand. I was very, very upset when I heard of their plans. I was with Sandra earlier today and we spoke at length. <laughs> you know, you have no chance with Kabodi. You should go back to Liberia. You know Kabodi? <laughs> of course I know him. No man stands or can match his cruelty. No man. I mean, they can as well shoot you back here than send you back to Liberia. Because with Kabod, you have no chance. Well, I heard of your quarrel with him in Liberia before you flee. It was all over Liberia. I think it's the right thing. I keep by the sword, I die by the sword. I don't understand why the church is taking such a long time to take a decision on this matter. Yes. The Roberts family, yeah. they have been a part and parcel of this church. Yes. 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 yes, yes, I must not fail to remind us that even though the wife is not from this country, she was resident in Nigeria. Yes. And it was the church who sent him and his family there. Mm -hmm. So the church is partially responsible. Mm -hmm. Gio, with all due respect, sir, I must tell you that your actions are wrong. Yeah. yeah. How can you bail such a man or even harbor him in this church? How can he pastor in this church? When the Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 21 and verse 12 that if any man hits or kills another man, he shall be killed. Yes. 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 My sister, that's exactly my point. The church is not a refuge for rapists and murderers. Yes. Who after committing all sorts of crimes, things think the church is a refuge for them, it will not happen. We all know the story in the, in the Bible, the story of Tamar. She was raped by her half-brother, Amor, and he was killed, didn't he? Yes. yes. Something has to be done immediately. It must be done. He must not only be excommunicated, we should also Position the CJ and what crime commissioner have him persecuted. Yes, exactly. Yes. That's what I'm going to. Look, eh? Gio, it was your own blood brother and your sister in law that he killed. Oh. I feel that you should see to it that he gets justice. Huh? If the Roberts family were talking yes. about it. Brave, huh? What did the Bible say concerning such a person? In 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1 and 5, for more emphasis, Gio. He said that we should deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of the soul so that his spirit will be saved in the day of the Lord. Yes. Brethren, this is all I have to say. I think this is not a case for the church, mm -hmm. but a case for Caesar. Yes. He has committed a crime against the law of this land. And as a law-abiding citizen, I think we should not harbor a criminal. Rather, we hand him over to the authority yes. to take care of it. Yes. Besides, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Yes. 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 We need to take control of this meeting. What is wrong in the first place is for the church to have arrested him. We are not in the business of prosecuting anybody, are we? We are not prosecuting. Uh -huh. but Let us simply put it to vote. Okay. Yes. 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 Wait. Wait. Yes. Wait. Wait. Gio. Let us simply vote whether he should stay or whether he should be excommunicated. That is what we should do. We all have a stake in this too. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. I 
guess is democracy. We will vote. But before we do that, I would like to say something. I want you to know that I was the very first person to condemn what that young man did. He committed a heinous crime, which cost hundreds and maybe thousands of people their lives and lots of pains to those they left behind. When he came down here, he came to me and confessed what he did. As he spoke to me, I didn't see a killer, but a young man who was haunted by his past. Well, you can as well say this is my own feeling, but I have no business, it's not my place to judge or pass judgment on anybody. Let us vote. But let me remind you that as Christians, we follow the footsteps of Christ. And I remember when he was asked to pass judgment on a prostitute born to him, he had this to say. Any man who feels he has no sin, let him cast the first stone. Those of you who feel that that young man should be excommunicated, please raise up your hand. Brothers, sisters, in respect of Pastor Henry, my hands are clean. something now that my hair is upright. Okay, go ahead. I thank you all. I know you all fought for me. I thank you. I'm not going to forget you all. God bless you all. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I must say that uh, you have me confused. Why that kind of talk? I know you all excommunicated me like you all do your own things. I know you all did it by voting, but I know mine. I look up to God. Is that what you know? Or what you feel? Look around you. Where are your accusers? But by the law. That the same people I know in church I saw living, that the same people. God, you saw them go. If they have not judged you, we judge you not. So my son, go and see no more. And may God bless you as you fight for your wife. Amen. 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 Praise God. Tell me that you have been released. Why would 
anybody tell you? Why would you want to know? Why wouldn't I know? Am I, is he not my friend? I mean, shouldn't I be by his side when he's been released from the police station? And who stopped you from visiting him when he was jailed? If you are so much of a good friend. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? You know, it took this situation to really open my eyes. Mm -hmm. I know what love really means. Yes. All my life I've been trying to make love. Create love. And now I found out that I am so, so wrong. Look at Sister Susan. She came here, torn apart, all because of her love for Pastor Henry. And he, in return, was so much strained because of her. They truly love each other. So what exactly, I mean, what are you talking about? You and I, you don't love me. And I've just realized that I don't love you either. Okay? You've just been using me. My body, my money, everything. And I in return has been selfishly using you as a lover. Come on. Love does not only takes. It gives. It sacrifices. It cares about what the other person feels. Everything. And in essence, you're saying that I don't love you and I'm not caring enough, right? You're not caring. You don't care for anybody. You care only for yourself and your presumed image. Not only that, you steal. You cheat. Slander. Backbite. Jesus Christ, what don't you do? And you're the first person to condemn every other person. I will not stand here. And listen to all this crap. I think I'm leaving. Oh. I'm leaving this house. Yes, please be to Almighty God. Please leave and don't you ever come back to this house. You and I know that you're just saying all that. You cannot leave without me for <laughs> one day. <laughs> for one second. You know, I used to think that. But now, not only can I live without you. I don't want to have any dealings with you, your kind. See, the skills have finally fallen off. My eyes are wide open. And you see this baby, I will take care of him or her all by myself. Don't bother. I won't, oh, do I even bother? Just leave my house, please. You can't be serious. Very serious. Look, look at me. Hmm. Tina, look at me. You are talking to a man with a great future. A man that God has called for. Look. Yeah, look at me well. You are talking to somebody who you someday call Papa. <laughs> Ay, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Tim. I mean, you should know by now that all these your big mouths. All these great goals of yours. Big dream. Does not get to me. I mean, they've all one thing. Listen. I really care about you and I wish you well. Just get out of my house, of my life. Okay? I wish you well. Just go. Mama, okay, Mama, Mama. I'm sorry. Mama, I'm sorry. Hey. Thank you. Please forgive me. You know, I also need joking. Hmm? I was joking as I was trying to pull your legs in. I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. Look, God is doing a new thing in our life. God is doing a new thing in our lives and look, it's going to be marvelous in the sights of men. Do you know those people, those um, that my international people now, that my business partner, the guy has seen the light too. Oh. Oh. The guy is beginning to talk money. Soon you and I will get settled. It's not married. We'll get married and our enemies will. We'll put our enemies to shame. The bondage has been broke. It is over. What don't you understand? I don't want you in my life right now. And listen, the last thing on my mind right now is marriage. List of all from you. Okay? Just go. I have important things to do with my life right now. Important things apart from me? Yes. Like what? Like praying and fasting. For God's intervention about this situation concerning Sister Susan and Pastor Henry. Mm -hmm. You know, they're truly good people and they don't deserve what is happening to them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's true. I think I will join in praying and fasting for them. Hmm. Very nice. But go to your house. No problem. Just go. Eh? Leave my house. I should go to where? Which house now? Mama, you know I don't have anywhere to go to. But I gave you money to pay for the rent. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
money. Eh, eh, the, the money you gave to me. Eh, those people now, you know that my international pastor friend now. We we you know, we're using it to facilitate facilitate the movement. So you didn't pay for the rent. Is it not that stupid stupid landlord? He, he was now saying that me 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 I'm sleeping with his daughter and he was just talking talking things. But I have gotten somewhere else. The other man, uh, although he's only said it's three years, but I, I will look for the money. Let's just stay together. See, please. you know what? Mm -mm. Out of my house. Out! Mama. See, I can't do without you, right? Mama, mama, mama. Okay, wait a second. I will so deal with you. God will help me. God will forgive me. Mm. Leave my house this now! Is, this is family. Mama, mama, it's my family. It's, uh, it's, it's, this is family problem. This is evil from home. I begin to bind. I bind every thought. Someone tell me why. This heart go unbeaten, and why does the sun still shine? Knowing it is the end of the world, it ended. Hi. I'm sorry, I made you door open. Susan is not in, so please, I'll advise you to leave. Mommy, please take it easy with me. I beg you in God's name, you gotta listen to me. I'm not here to see Susan. I came to see you. You came to see me? <laughs> Why? So you can... We talk me into allowing you to marry my sister. I mean, after all, you have um, succeeded in convincing everybody uh, that you're a wonderful person. So I guess I'm the only turn in your flesh now. Sandra, it's not like what you think. Mm. I'm begging God, and I've got to talk with you. You want to talk with me? Okay, sit. And I guess I need to entertain you, right? I'll get you a drink. Ah, uh, no, thanks. I don't need a drink. No, I'll get you a drink. Thanks. I'm not eating, uh, I'm not drinking. No, no, no. I'm not eating, I'm not drinking. Eat the food. I said, I'm not drinking. I'm over it, eat, eat the food. Eat the food over it. Eat the food. I said, I'm not eating, I'm not drinking. What do you want from me? I, 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 I don't need anything from you. What do you want from me? Sandra, I beg you. I beg you in God's name. Sandra, I came to apologize. I came to say I'm sorry. I came to say I'm sorry for all the pains, all the all the griefs I caused you and your parents. I'm sorry. Shut up! Shut the mouth! Yeah. You listen? Oh wait. You listen, friend? My man and my old pal beg you! To save their lives, you listen. You listen, Sandra. What are your problem, Sandra? What are your problem? 
What do you want me to? You all don't want to be reasonable with me. You all want to kill me, want to eat me. You all don't want to see my face on there. What do you want me to? I don't want anything from you. Why you can't listen to me? I don't want anything from you. Just go away. Go away. You know something, Sandra? I now know that not the right time to come. Oh, no, no, no. You can't walk away from me. Huh? You can't walk away from me. Theater right now, the doctors are on him. They are breathing on him. They said he he fractured his skull. Okay, just calm down, Susan. Calm down. Son, what happened to him? I don't know. He just uh, he just slipped and fell. Well, that's a. Uh, I'm supposed to believe that. Susan, what are you insinuating? Like, Susan, I mean. Okay, okay, yes, we had a, we had a brawl, I mean, yes, we argued, and, he, you know, he was, he was leaving, I, I, I was like, you know, I was trying to pull him back, I, I told him to stop, he, he didn't, I, I tried to pull him, and then, I don't know what happened, he was like, he thought he was unconscious, I don't know, am I supposed to be with this story? Calm down, sir. calm down, please, calm down, calm down. Whatever, you can believe whatever you want, man. It's not like I can. You see, you haven't changed one bit, have you? It is always about you. It has always been about you. Ah, oh, just. But do you take have it to do this? Anything. If anything happens to him, I could never forgive you. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Calm down, please. Calm. Just calm down. You have always. You have always made, made your hatred for him very obvious. But did you have to go this far? Susan, I didn't push him. Come down, Sandra. Do I have to go for the whole thing? I didn't push him. This is not happening. This mean anything to you. Susan, I did not push him. I did not push him. This is not happening. This mean anything. I did not push him! Just get out! I'm doing oh, what? No, 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 calm down, Susan. Susan, don't do this. Oh, get out! Sandra! Susan, it's okay. Susan. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry now, okay? Sandra! She thinks I did it right. 
boy. Wait. How could you think I wanted to? How could you think that I, I tried to kill him? I was just trying to pull him back. Eh? You know, so darling, this whole journey has been doomed from the start. You shouldn't have come. I told you I didn't want to come. Honey, she's just upset, and it's natural in everybody, okay? But I believe you. You do? I believe you. I know you can't do such a thing, okay? Thank you. Just have some faith. Harry will be okay, all right? Uh, let's go home. You need to take some rest. Thank you. Go back. Come on, baby. Oh, I Don't worry, I, I will talk to her every two weeks. Fine, let's go home. Let's just go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. Well, you told me his condition is critical. Your operation was successful. Yet, for some strange reason, you have to be We must pray. Let us go out to the camp. Okay, thank you. We're going to the camp. Okay. Oh, so you can't um, see the camp. And the operation was successful, but for some reason he hasn't been going to the camp. He's going to be It's also fun of laughing at your brother's misfortune. You're not needing around here anymore. Blood of Jesus. But but I came as soon as I found out. Are we communicating? Look, the people that are needed here are those with genuine compassion. Not people like you. How come everybody seems to hate me? Why is everybody picking picking on me? I mean, what what have I done? I, I, is it me that killed Jesus Christ? You despise yourself. You feel by going around and telling people the great and wonderful things you do, you endear people to yourself? Wrong. Very, very wrong. You attach so much importance to yourself that you fail to realize that people don't often come to people because of what they say or your empty promises. Just by being yourself. But, but, but God knows. Heaven knows. And Jesus can attest to the fact. That I'm a very compassionate person, oh. and the Holy Spirit is my witness. Oh. I, I have the fear of God in me. I love. I, 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 I love. Of course, you're a very, very compassionate person. That I know. But you're only compassionate to yourself. And a word of advice: the worst thing a man can do to himself is to deceive his own self. If you will excuse me. Let me be Gerald, okay? Just leave me alone. You're one of them anyway. One of who? You're one of them. I mean... You guys have all succeeded in painting me the devil. And then this guy is now the victim after all that he did. Come on, come on, baby. <sighs> you 
Honey, come here. Come here. Honey. I know what you did was dreadful. Totally inhuman. But he's repented now. He's a changed man. He's so sorry for what he did. And if there's any chance he won't make it up. Your sister leaving him will not make things better. Sweetheart, can't you see? Can't you see that this man is nothing but trouble? Now look at it. He succeeded in making Sue say hateful things to me. I can't believe Sue thinks I I was about to kill somebody. No, no. Sally. See, if you continue like this, you risk alienating your sister. You may succeed in blackmailing her into traveling abroad with you. But with time, she will come to hate you. She will come to realize you destroyed her opportunity to happiness. And she will not forgive you for that. She will not. Honey, I know you've gone through a horrific experience. We all have. But you need to give us all a chance to heal. Give us a chance to heal. Come to laugh at their misfortune. What do you want? Tina. Tina, please, you have to listen to me. First of all, I have not come to laugh at anybody. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. But you have to listen to me. Don't take what I want to tell you as one of those my numerous gist and yarns I always get to tell you. This one is for real, please believe me. Tina. I all my life I've I've always had it rough. I I practically grew up with an uncle because my my father had many wives. And my father and mother were always fighting. They were always at each other's neck. 
So I learned to survive. And to survive meant that I had to be smart. And in my only two way, I felt that being smart was to be able to, to deceive people. So I found the church. And I joined the church. I felt I was going to advance myself. But all along, I found that all I've been able to do was, was to give myself an ill reputation and a bad name at that. Tina, are you listening? I'm sorry. I, I capitalize on the fact that that you're a desperate woman and you, you needed a man in your life. I... I... I've been using you. I know how you... I know how you feel. I'm deeply sorry about all this. Tina... I beg you. Somehow I've come to my senses. I know you have hurt, you have felt bad. I know I've used you, but if for anything, I just want you to know that nobody has ever appreciated me like you have. Nobody has shown me love and concern like you. I always felt nobody understood me. You were the only one who cared for me, who appreciated me. I just want you to know that I appreciate you a lot. Please forgive me. Tina, I beg you in the name of God, please. You said the surgery was successful, man. And yet you refused to come around. I'm sorry, my love. I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't there for you at the point of your need. If you can hear me, if you can hear me, please wake up. I need you. I need you, please. If you can hear me, wake up. Sorry for everything. I'm sorry for all the pain I've caused you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Did you see that? He squeezed my hands. He squeezed my hands. Did you see that? I just came from nowhere and I almost spoiled this beautiful thing going on within you and my sister, within the both of you. You guys, you just forgive me. I'm, I'm oh. just sorry. Oh, yes, well. So let me hope bless to have a sister-in-law like you. See all the kind of bad thing I did to you. 
Kambao Kambao Ananu Arakuka Ananu It's okay really, it's okay <laughs> Mommy You alright? I'm sorry baby Oh my god, he's awake! Oh god, God be praised! Pastor Henry! <laughs> Ratty? Okay, okay, I know what you're going to say. Um, um, so whatever it is, this time it's for her. Honestly, I promise. Hallelujah. <laughs> you, you know, it took um, somebody that loved me to, to bring me back. You, I, I've seen the light, you know, I've seen the light and I know God is going to use me to do mighty things. You know, I'll begin to move mountains again for the Lord. We're going to be one big happy family, big congregation, you know, God doing... Team! Hmm? I, I, I was only joking. Uh, it's going to be a new start, fresh start, you know, praise God, <laughs> praise God. Mame, team. Mame, hallelujah, mame, mame, you are well. Hallelujah. God is a good God every time. Alpha Rebel TV, enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Alpha Rebel Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa. Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Aosa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa, with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily, we help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.